Oh, that poor heater. Trust me, guys, this happens a lot. Hmm. Good Monday, possibly afternoon. I'm not even sure what time it is. What time is it? <coughs> it's almost afternoon. And by the time I finish this mask, <laughs> hmm, it should probably be afternoon. <laughs> All right, um, this morning we're going to do a mask. I've tried to do a couple masks since the last time you guys seen me. And, sorry, be up there, we're on porch. Uh, I couldn't actually get all the way through with some of my masks. So, I'm doing a lot better for this situation. So, today we're going to do Seven Wonders, which I love their masks. This is by Leaders in, Sol in Solution. It's a coconut biocellulose mask. And I, I like their Caribbean coconut mask. There is no coconut in it. I know... A lot of people are like, well, you keep getting these things that say coconut. That seems up a little high. Let's bring you down to my level. All right. Um. Anyway. We'll go into that topic another time because there are some companies that's a little shady about saying they have coconut in it and finding out there's not. But this right here, Amazonian Akaya, Sia, that berry, <laughs> anti-pollution mask. It's an advanced biocellulose mask. Contour and fit technology provides exceptional skin adherence for powerful results. Minimizes the effects of pollution on skin, purifies and detoxifies skin, neutralizes skin damaging free radicals. Okay. It's probably something I probably need with all the spray painting I've been doing, regular painting, and being around salt dust because my husband's been working on back porch. Alright, I tried to look up reviews and set it up over here on this little pad doohickey. And for some reason... reason the internet's not working on it <laughs> well the internet's working it just won't pick up different sites so I can read reviews to you guys because I figured that would be a good thing to put it in here this time so that kind of screwed me I'll try it for the next time all right uh, let's see we read the front front looks like that I'm not sure where we stopped I had to my phone did a stop drop and roll <laughs> off of the little tripod thing. It it jumped. It jumped for, from a great height. Alright, I do know this is one of those masks that have the protective layer on both sides. It's kind of like a weird feeling mask. And I do know with the Coconut Caribbean one, that when it dries down, it's kind of like... It, it gets a little bit... I don't know what the word is. Like, as soon as you start pulling, sometimes it's a little tough in certain spots. It's like trying to rip a band-aid off, but not as bad. You know, it's kind of tough. But this is a 20, 25 minute mask. Anything important on here? Because that thing don't work properly. <laughs> That's what happens when my husband finds things in trucks at work and anything that's found in the trucks are finders keepers and if he finds technology he brings it home to me uh, <laughs> all right this says it's got botanical extract packed serum formulated an antioxidant rich superfood fruit super fruit wow this mask helps to purify and neutralize the effects of pollution on skin can be used on sensitive skin types. That's awesome because I'm pretty sensitive. Like the soap I used today has already started leaving little red bumps. A little aggravating. But uh, that's what all that looks like. 
Now I had two choices of masks, but the other one I'm going to do some research on because none of it is written in English. The name of it, but everything else isn't. What am I doing? Smells a little perfumey. Oh, it's dripping. Alright, guys. I gotta move around here. The first time I ever tried this, one of these masks, I was so mad. I was like, man, this thing's like as thick as toilet paper. Or paper towel, actually, not toilet paper. Toilet paper was that thick. Ow. First ladies, ow. But it looks like this. But there is protective layer all over it. And it is pretty slimy. The poor heater has seen more masks than most people. But then you have this like gel mask. You can take off both things before you put it on, but we're going to do this without a mirror. This wasn't well thought out. I just... Ugh. Oh. I can't get it, guys. keep looking for you guys to help me but <laughs> that's not gonna happen watch the UPS driver will show up while I'm sitting out here ew kind of look like that guy off of uh oh. jeepers creepers there we go It's on there. Big truck driving past my house. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. I will see you guys in about 30 minutes. Alright, it's been 30 minutes. Normally, these masks like this, I'll keep on until they completely dry. But I'm starving. And my lunch is here. So... <laughs> We're going to eat. Not in front of you. <laughs> um, so far, it's still soft and wet. Um, these masks right, right here, if you can hang out for an hour, and in about an hour it'll dry in, depending on how your skin is. If you've got super dry skin, this stuff will, in like 30 minutes, be done. It'll be dry and everything. But my skin is very oily so it takes it a little bit longer for things to absorb in um i was reading some reviews and a lot of people were really happy with it with this mask um some people did not like the negative part of where it dries down and you gotta pull it up and it, if you got a lot of peach fuzz on your face it's gonna pull so it is that issue. I don't because I do shave that stuff down. I know a lot of people are against that, but for me, it makes me look and feel better about myself when I look in the mirror. So, let's take this bad boy off. Oh, some of the spots were dry right up underneath my chin. It does stay on. You do not have to keep touching it to fold it down. I, I actually hate masks like that. There's some masks that I do love because of their essence, but the actual face mask itself is just horrendous. I mean, if I've got to keep pushing it down because it won't stay to my face, that's aggravating. But this, you can get up, move around, do laundry, whatever. It seals to your face. So if you're on go type person, there you go. 
that perfume smell isn't bad. It's not overwhelming. But it's there. I'm going to put that over there so we can put that in. I know people say I should be patting this in, but um, I've tried the whole patting in, just doing that. I even have to watch using with beauty blender type sponges and stuff because my skin is so sensitive and kind of fragile to a certain extent that I actually break like blood vessels just barely touching so that's why I do this because then I'm just staying on the top layer and I'm just gliding I can't do the pat just like people try and pat up underneath their eyes with the ring finger I can't do that either like my I poke myself in the eye this I have more control of this I don't <laughs> and I don't have a mirror out here to see how my face looks we'll probably get up close and personal in a second um, there's not a whole lot of serum on there but there's enough It's finally starting to get warm out here, so this probably ain't going to dry down into my skin because I can already feel myself getting a little overheated. I should turn the fan on. Alright, we're going to get up close and personal. I don't kiss on the first date, so, you know, don't get close to the screen. Just let me, okay? Alright. Don't mind the hyperpigmentation or the few little spots from the soap I'm trying today. Or the fact that I need to pluck my eyebrows. I can see that in the camera. That looks horrendous. I can't remember if this is one of those masks that I end up having to rinse off. Because usually I let it dry down and you don't have to worry about that. But the fact being that I took it off mid-serum, we'll say mid-serum, it's my technology, or my terminology, technology, jeez. Um, it looks pretty good. I needed something, some kind of moisture, because I haven't been doing my moisturizers or anything. I haven't been washing my face twice a day. That's how bad I was for the past couple weeks. Um, it's drying down, so I don't think I'm going to need to rinse it. Or even wipe it with a warm rag or however you want to say it. So that's pretty good. And it does feel like my skin has some moisture to it. I'll try this mask again. Like I said, I usually use their Caribbean Coconut one. It does wonders for blemishes. So if you got this light pimple that's like ready to go, but not really ready to go. I mean, it's it's there. It should be ready to go, but it's not. Use their Caribbean Coconut Mask the day before. Or use it, and then like the next day you'll notice a difference. Trust me. Um, or if you're you, it's finally popped. Wait till later on that night, use that mask. By the next day, it's going to be very, very unnoticeable. So, there's a good tip. I am learning some stuff from these masks, and hopefully you're learning stuff too. Um, that is all I have for you guys today. I believe there are some giveaways going on, and they should be linked down below. I haven't done this for a couple weeks, so i got to remember what my giveaways information is. So, um, <clears throat> that's... That's why they go in the descriptions. Um, I don't know what moisturizers I'm using, so that part won't be in my description because I, I don't know where I'm at. Um, but I will see you later on. I have an unboxing for you guys, so stay tuned. It's going to be recorded today. <laughs> um, I'm actually excited, but I will see you all later. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, comment, and I will see you guys later. Bye.